<laughs> every week about? you slag off your players. We, we, every week. Not, no, no, no. That shows you <laughs> haven't been watching. It shows you haven't been watching because a lot of us have been Cue very encouraging. Cue the memes, everyone. Cue the memes. That is, <laughs> that is because we have been very encouraging about our team Happy and enough. we right. set a standard. Get him on to his relegation Hold on a minute. Pitch. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. Show me some of it. Uh, 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 she has eyes. Talking. We spoke on her occasion. I think she's just getting True. you back. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not getting back because, because I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh at the end of the season. Me too, babes. Me too. I cannot wait. I'm going to actually laugh. It's going to be quite amusing. Hello everyone and welcome back to Blues Fans TV. I am Sophie Rose. Now I am so excited because the London Derby is fast approaching. One Arsenal fan in particular that was full of praise for his manager um, and, and just couldn't resist uh, slating Frank Lampard. So I thought we'd do a little recap. Lampard, Lampard's one of the He's most under yeah, pressure whatever. managers. Whatever. And trust me, Roman is sacking from his yacht. Whatever. He Whatever. doesn't care. <laughs> So, me and DT had many arguments on this super fan debate, uh, one of which was our manager. So let's look at that now um, and see what he said. I said during it, I think we're going to challenge the title. Let's just watch now. Who is going to win the league this year? I think Chelsea have got a good chance, if okay. I'm being honest. Um, I'm not just, why are you, <laughs> what, did we, what did we say about not talking over each other? I ain't talking, I'm laughing. Well, same thing. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's local. laughs> Chelsea will not challenge for the Premier League because there's one area they've not strengthened in. Which area is that? Their manager. Oh, shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> coming, coming from an Arsenal fan. What? Where did you finish an last Arsenal season? An Arsenal fan whose manager Where did you just dealt season? with your manager. When did you finish, when did you finish last season? Where, where did you finish last season? Outclassed your manager only a we few no weeks players. ago. We no a manager that apparently outclassed power manager in all areas apparently okay all right okay he's certainly doing that now isn't he where where are arsenal again oh that's right yes they're in the relegation zone nearly they're they're, they're heading down that way aren't they you know them, yeah, who cares about he, he genuinely believed his own his own thoughts there okay i wonder if he still thinks the same now Hmm. Where are Arsenal again? Where, where are Arsenal again? How, how is their manager doing? Oh, that's right. They just lost to City, got knocked out of the cup, and they are... How many points from relegation? Say no more. <laughs> I don't rate Lamp Lampard at all as a manager. Chelsea are holding on to this obsession because he's like a legend of the club. This ain't about what he did as a player. This is about Chelsea fans, and trust me, they'll turn on him quick as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel that any of us have turned on Frank Lampard yet. Uh, I'm sorry, um, but are they turning on their own manager right now? Yes, yes they are, 100%. Oh, apart from DT, uh, for, some, for some very strange reason. I don't understand that. Can you imagine if this was Arsene Wenger and this was his string of results? He would, he would 100% uh, want him out. He did anyway, and but Arteta apparently is immune from that. Don't get it. At least top four: Man City, Liverpool, United, Arsenal. Relegation. Like no range for yours. Chelsea. Oh. Top four. No you think they're going to flop? Then Chelsea won't challenge for the top four. All right. Again, um, I think we're a lot closer than they are. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I mean I don't know. The last time I checked the table, uh, we were a lot closer than what they are seen before what their little banners and everything towards Fabregas and Costa and then once they started playing well it was all like oh we love you we love you yeah no, piss off you say your players can't weekly stand. what are talking about can't stand you anything you off your players Chelsea. every single can't week stand anything. you're one of the worst ones <laughs> for it every <laughs> week you slag off your players we, we, every week not, no 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 that shows you haven't been watching it shows you haven't been watching because a lot of us have been cue very encouraging cue the memes everyone cue the memes <laughs> <laughs> full Full of encouragement, apparently, for his players. I'm sorry, Sammy, um, please edit in uh, everything you said about the players recently. Um, let's just have a little look at look at how encouraging he's been recently. Let's have a look. It's on the again. Why are you standing still, you fucking sponge-headed prick? Bellerin, fuck you! 
fucking useless pile of fucking wank. Get that fucking wank out of this car. What a baby, what an overreaction. Listen, as a YouTuber, as, as a presenter, you've got to be able to take criticism. Uh, when it comes to your football comments, I get it all the time. Uh, it's something that you have to deal with because you're not always going to be right 100% of the time. Um, and I think in this instant, he has been uh, way, way too full of praise for Artessa for I don't know what, what reason. Um, fair enough, a lot of it, you know, a lot of this sort of stuff does fall on the players' heads, you know, they need to take responsibility as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not really sure why I got so angry there. To me, that's a bit of an overreaction. You need to, um, you need to calm down, DC, you need to calm down. So there you have it, I think I've proved my point. Um, I wish I could have got a word in edgeways there, but all I was trying to say uh, in that super fan debate was that I genuinely think that Chelsea are more or less contenders uh, for the title rather than Arsenal. I didn't even put them uh, in my top four. He did. He, he said Arsenal will finish fourth. Uh, let's just recap there, Sammy. He said Arsenal will finish fourth this season. Top four. Man City, Liverpool, United, Arsenal. Yep, there we go. And I actually don't think they will even manage top six this season. Even if they, they try to save there was their season now. I think it's you know it's now December. It's it's gone too far. Yes, we don't always have the best string of results against Arsenal, and it is one of those games that worries me. Um, but you know what? I don't feel that they are in a position even at the moment to scrape a draw through on Saturday. Again, I could be wrong. It is the Premier League. You never know what's going to happen. But I feel like we have strengthened. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Chilwell's injury. I hope that isn't something too serious. Um, but I do think Amazon came on and did a sort of stable job there. Um, I, depends what, what sort of uh, formation he's going to go on for. I, I do feel a bit sorry for Giroud. Um, I would be very surprised if he doesn't feature in this game, given his history with Arsenal. Um, I think he's more prone to score a goal. Uh, but then again, it wouldn't be fair to Tammy in that side, on that side of things, uh, as he did get a couple of goals. Um, so, you know, it depends what formation he's going to go with for this game. Uh, I expect this game to be a 3-0. Um, actually, you know what, you know, I'm going to be kind to Arsenal. I'm going to say 3-1 Chels. Um, just because of their history with us and, and how they do, no matter how bad they're playing, seem to turn up against us. I just think they've gone too far this season and I don't see how they will rectify three points out of this. Um, I think they have so much work to do in every area of the pitch. Um, and I feel like until they, they do get a new manager, because I think when you've got a string of results like this, if there's any other club, even if it was, you know, bottom, not a, well, a normal bottom half table, um, table club, then they would have sat their manager by now. We've seen that happen a lot. Um, for some reason they're sticking with Arteta. I have no idea why. Um, I think, you know, it's, it's not anything personal towards him. It's just if you do have this, this, this string of results and you are a club like Arsenal, who is used to being in the top half of the table, uh, you do need to sort of accept fate and just say, listen, it's not working out. So uh, my prediction is 3-1. Please comment below and let me know what, what your thoughts are. Um, I probably would go with Giroud for this match um, just because I think it was actually quite unfair that he was taken out of the team in the first place, but I know we wanted to change things up. Um, I'd be very surprised. I mean, to be honest, I think Werner's has had enough time now to prove himself. Um, I think he does need to get a few goals under his belt um, to, you know, to, to show what we paid him for. Um, I would appreciate it if Havertz wasn't in the starting lineup. I know he came on uh, in the game against West Ham towards the end, uh, but that was a very different story. We were 3-0 up and, you know, it, it was fine for him to get a bit of game time. But um, I do think Frank needs to think hard about his team here because we are playing against former Chelsea players, uh, the likes of David Luiz, Willian. Even if Willian isn't out of the best Arsenal career, uh, they do know how we play and they, he will know how his form net, form, former teammates like to play. So um, they're things to look out for. Uh, but yeah, my prediction is 3-1. Please comment below. Who would you like up front? Uh, what system would you like? Would you like Tammy? In, would you like Tammy in the team? Would you like Giroud? Obviously, I think we have to change things up a little bit there. So, uh, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, once again, I think up until this date, I've proved DT wrong, and I would appreciate it next time uh, if he actually let me get a word in edgeways and you know really thought through his words um, because they've come back to bite him in the ass a little bit, haven't they? Anyway, uh, go on your blues. Can't wait for Saturday.